Does having a spotlessly clean home, life, or church take utmost precedence in your life? Would you be okay with a little messiness if it was a sign of service to others, service for God? And are you afraid of people seeing your messy life, home, or church? These are questions I'd like for you to ponder this week as we contemplate the ox. Hi, my name is Zeb Hagen, lead pastor here at Trinity United Methodist Church in Fort Walton Beach. We are so glad you joined us here on Trinity Online. The past three weeks we've been exploring what the wild kingdom of ministry and gleaning wisdom from animals spoken of in the Bible. We've already talked about doves, deer, and ants. So what about the ox? Let's hear what scripture tells us from the Old Testament book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse four from the New Revised Standard Version. Where there are no oxen, there is no grain, abundant crops by the strength of the ox. And from the New Testament or the New King James Version, I like this version a little bit better because it's a little bit more to the point of what I'm gonna be speaking with you today. The New uh, King James Version tells us, where there are no oxen, the trough is clean, but much increase comes by the strength of an ox. Now in the decades since tractors have replaced horses, which replaced oxen, few Americans know much, if anything, about taking care of oxen. Some people these days can relate a little bit because they've been around dairy cows. Now a dairy farmer milks the cows twice a day, cleans out manure, prepares food for the winter, and feeds its cows, mends fences, and oversees calving, having young calf. Even without the twice daily milking of cows, taking care of oxen were very similar to taking care of cows. It was a lot of back-breaking work, dirty work, endless work of feeding, cleaning troughs and stalls, yoking the oxen together before you plow, unyoking them after you plow. A farmer might well think sometimes how much easier life would be without the ox. But what if the farmer did have no oxen? I'll tell you, they were going to be working a heck of a lot more without the ox. The strength of an ox pulled the plow. A yoke of oxen could plow roughly an acre a day, which is about 22 yards by 220 yards, allowing for a rich and abundant crop. Now without the ox, a farmer could use a stick or a shovel to break up soil or pull the plow himself. However, in either case, could he come close to plowing an acre a day like a team of oxen, nor could he turn the soil as deeply and consistently as he could with the oxen. Without the ox, a farmer would break his back to and still only get a very small crop. So what's the point of the proverb? I think the point of the proverb, in part, is delicate and dainty people who can't stand the messiness of the workplace or a cheap people who won't invest in productive animals or machines or, or, or programs, will have, they will have a neat, clean, sterile environment. But also get this, they're probably going to have poor lives. Likewise, a house without children, and many of you listening today, watching today, know this. A house without children is easily kept neat, clean, and quiet. And let's face it, children are crazy expensive. They're troublesome, they're loud, they're exhausting, and, and well worth it. Because wealth to support people in old age comes from the work of the children when they're grown. They also help us in the future. No children? 
no social security, a reality that the industrialized world is finally recognizing ourselves. But to deal with children, fathers and mothers have to be okay with getting their hands dirty, sometimes literally, and ready to put up with certain amounts of chaos, right? It's the same way with churches and a life. Your personal life, accomplish, a life accomplishing anything will include a lot of messiness, including untidy houses and barns, if you will. Churches with a lot going on in and around the facilities will often have constant messes, constant repairs to attend to. But a messy house, a messy church, a messy life shows that people live there. There are people there to love, people to love you back, people made in the image of God. Meticulous standards of cleanliness and good order do not rule a wise person. Wise people, organizations, churches do not use meticulous standards of cleanliness as excuses for not being rich in good works such as hospitality and serving others. Nothing comes free of charge, not even the strength of an ox. Their price is the trouble and expense of constantly cleaning and refilling the troughs they eat from as well as all the other work that they require. But that investment in labor, whether in oxen or family or in the church, brings an increase of food, happiness, and enjoyment. So we can learn a lot about the ox, right? They do take a lot of care. So do those in churches we go to. They do take a lot of effort, much like people that we work with in our lives. They do make a mess, but man, is it worth it. As uh, the Proverbs writer might say, only the foolish will dispense of the ox. Now we're so glad you joined us today on Trinity Online, and we can't wait to see you in person because we do hope that you will come visit us in person. And when you do, invite a friend, a family member, a neighbor, have a wonderful week. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.